In this video, I'm going to start exploring um, candlestick charts, uh, how they're different to other ways of displaying price data, and how it can give us, I think, maybe a bit of a different way of looking at what's going on in financial markets. Hello, I'm David Jones, uh, and in this latest video with Trading 2 on 2, this is part of our, our technical analysis and trading series, um, I thought we'd go off in a bit of a different direction uh, this week. In recent weeks, we've looked at sort of classic chart patterns, the double top, double bottom. We've looked at oscillators, uh, like stochastics, and RSI. So I thought before we get back in to that, um, let's go off and, and take a look at candlestick charts. Um, if you've been watching this channel for even a short time, you'll know that all the charts that I look at are candlestick charts. They've been incredibly popular with people over the last sort of 20 or 30 years. But, but for people new to trading and, and looking at charts, there still may be a bit of confusion about what they show. So I thought, well, let, let's start off the first of these few videos on candlestick charts, um, actually how these charts get constructed and how they're different to other charts. So, um, so let's do that. Let's go right back to the basics. We'll look at the different types of chart, the line chart, the bar chart, and why the candlestick chart is a little bit different. Let's take a look at the basics as to how a chart's constructed. First of all, let's look at a line chart. So um, let's say there's a closing price there. On one day, it closes there. The next day it closes a bit higher, the next day it closes back a bit, the next day it closes up, and so it goes on. So a line chart, typically, what we're looking at, it just plots the closing prices. This is fine for giving us an idea of trend, but, but traders typically want something uh, a bit more. So let's take a look at the bar chart. So a bar chart looks something like this, probably uh, better drawn than on a trading platform. So in markets, we have four bits of price information. If we're looking at a daily or an hourly or a 10 minute, it's all the same. Let's assume this is dailies. So we've got the high of the day, the low of the day, where the market opened, where it closed. Okay, so this goes on, uh, of course, for the time period we're looking at. So whereas a closing or a line chart would only be connecting the closing points, with the bar chart, we get a bit more, well, actually a lot more information. We have three additional bits of information, the high, the low, and the open, in addition to the close. Candlestick charts use the same thing. Uh, they're just shown slightly differently. So let's take a look. So here's a bar chart next to a candlestick. So it's, this, it's the same data we're looking at. We're looking at the same day here. So on the bar, we have the open, the close, the high, and the low. Uh, on the candlestick, the way the candlestick gets drawn, what we're doing here is, is, is actually just, just blocking in the difference between the open and the close. So we still have the high and the low, so these are the wicks, or technically called the shadow, uh, on the candlestick. But it's the difference between the open and the close that's considered important. Now, if we turn that around, if we had, if I just take these off, so rather than the market closing higher than the day, if the market opened here and then closed down there, we've got a down day. The candlestick's going to look the same. The only difference is, traditionally, uh, it gets coloured in black. So. Uh, on an up day, the candlestick traditionally gets coloured in white. On a down day, the candlestick gets coloured in black. But of course, trading platforms these days normally show an up candlestick where the close is higher than the open as a green colour, and a down candlestick where the close is lower than the open as a red colour. Sometimes you might see candlesticks that look a little bit like this one here. And um, what that is, we've got no body. So this bit here, the difference between the open and the close, is referred to as the real body of the candlestick. In this example here, we've got the open and the close pretty much in the same place. So the market opens here, trades higher, trades lower, but ends up closing just about where it opened on the day. So that's uh, where we have uh, this, 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 this particular candlestick that looks more like uh, a cross. Okay? And of course, if the bar chart, the bar chart would look something like that as well. Okay? But it's the, the body here is the difference between the open and the close. So there we go, a, a wonderfully drawn explanation. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, but Let's take a look at some real markets now. We'll see uh, these candles uh, in the real world and uh, bring it all maybe a bit more to life. So here we are in the real world. This is pound US dollar. This is a line chart going back to uh, beginning of 2017. Um, and you can see it's pretty clear what the trend is. You know, So if we're looking at a big picture view, lines are fine for that sort of thing. But most traders want a bit more information. Let's change it to a bar chart first of all. We do this on this platform, on the two on two platform, by going to chart type, clicking down, we'll choose bar. Let's just zoom in a little bit just to see that a bit clearer. 
here we go. So we've got, going back to August, uh, what we're looking at here, daily bars. So each bar represents a day's, uh, day's worth of trade. And then you can, you can clearly see the tick, the horizontal line to the left, it's where the market opened. To the right is where the market closed. Uh, and the height of the bar is the range on the day. Let's change this to candlesticks. So we're on candlesticks now. The, the, the data is the same. The open, the high, the low, the close. Uh, the only difference is when the close is higher than the open. So there's the close there. There's the open. Uh, it gets blocked in. And in, in this example on this platform, it gets, gets colored in green. When the close is lower than the open, this example here from the 17th of September 2017, uh, it gets blocked in and it gets colored in red. And then we have days. As you can see, there's a, a reasonable example there. Well, we don't have much difference between the open and the close. So the market trades lower, trades higher, but ends up closing not a million miles away from where it opened. So we get a much narrower body like we have down here as well in August and also over here in November. Okay, the market trades lower, but ends up closing uh, not far from where it opened. So that's, that's candlestick charts. I think people like them because I think it just makes it visually a lot easier to see maybe what went on during the day. Uh, did the market close higher or lower? And there's a whole load of patterns that we're going to be looking at as well uh, in, in the weeks to come when we look at the candlestick charts. But that's, that's some of the basics of how they're constructed and how they compare with uh, other ways of looking at price data when we're looking at, at charts of markets. I am a big fan of candlestick charts. Um, you don't get any more information than you get uh, in a bar chart, for example. You have the high, the low, the open, the close, but it's maybe uh, an easier to read uh, visual representation of what's going on in the markets. It's actually a whole area of charting all on its own. There are various patterns that we're going to cover uh, in the next couple of weeks, but I thought it would be good uh, to just do the basics uh, this week. So we're all starting from the, from the same place. And I think it's a, it's a great way of representing the various moves you know, over different time frames, whether it's daily, hourly, five minute, you know, all my charts are candlesticks. So next time around, we'll get into a bit more about specific patterns such as bearish and bullish engulfing. But for this week, we'll start wrapping things up there. As usual, if you have any questions or comments, just leave us a message uh, in those comments down below. Uh, if you like the video, click on the thumbs up. And if it's the first one of these uh, that you've seen, we do lots of videos throughout the week on different markets, oil, gold, currencies, cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin, um, trading terms, all this sort of stuff. So if you're not subscribed, if you click on subscribe there and uh, click on the alarm bell thing that's down there, you'll get notified um, every time we upload a video. But for this week from me, David Jones and Trading 212, uh, we'll leave it there and I hope you have a good trading week.